fluids, Bernoulli's equation. Just one question to ponder and focus on. That is, how is Bernoulli's equation like conservation of energy? Before I scare you with too, too many, as if this isn't enough here, before I scare you too much, I wanted to take a look at uh, what Bernoulli uh, challenged himself with here. And so if we look at fluids, before we, we were considering the fluids weren't moving very quickly uh, in our um, hydrostatic uh, examples when we had uh, hydraulics and, uh, and pressure systems and so forth. Uh, Bernoulli said, hey, but what happens when the fluid does move? And what if happens if the fluid is moving at a pretty significant pace? We have to take the speed into account. Not only that, but fluids don't always flow in the same plane. Fluids sometimes will rise or fall. For example, if you have a water tower, fluid flows down a hill dramatically and you're going to have uh, gravity playing a significant role with potential energy. So with those things in mind, Bernoulli thought of kinetic energy and potential energy, but, uh, and also the work done to move a fluid uh, in a system. And so Bernoulli re Bernoulli's equation is really an application of conservation of energy uh, applied to uh, moving fluids. So before you get too, uh, I just want to warn you, there's going to be lots of numbers here, but don't get too intimidated. We'll work our way through it. So here we go. Let's derive Bernoulli's equation. So I told you it was going to look a little bit scary, but... Uh, We'll take it one chunk at a time, so don't be too nervous about this. We start right here. This is Bernoulli's idea is to start with energy. So starting with energy, we know, Bernoulli knows, knew that the work that went goes into a system, in this case, where this is a closed isolated system within this pipe here, uh, sh the work coming out of the system should be equal to the work that's put into the system. But the system also has, or and the system also has two types of energy, potential and kinetic. So at this point in the system, the, it has, the system, the fluid has a certain amount of potential energy and kinetic energy. And then at this location, it has a different potential poten and uh, kinetic uh, possibly. So here is our conservation of energy equation, and Bernoulli is going to apply that to this fluids system. Let's start off by doing work. Uh, let's check out work here. Now work uh, changed a little bit from our fundamental equation for work, which is the average force times the distance. If we have a fluid system, if we recall that force is related to pressure in our fluid system here, uh, multiplying both sides by A here, force is the amount of pressure uh, applied to an area here. So the pressure pushing, let's say there's a pis piston pushing is pushing this fluid quickly up through the line here. Well, that's the pressure on the piston. Uh, that's the pressure provided by the piston on that area. And that's the force right here. We've already known that from previous work. Um, and so substituting that in for force in our work equation. Now, uh, the distance that that area is going to be pushed and moved by this piston is going to be that length of the pipe right here. We also know that the volume here is equal to the area times the length. So I can plug volume in for this, and we have a brand new equation for work, which is kind of cool. Work is equal to pressure times volume in fluid systems. So work is equal to pressure times volume in fluid systems. Now, we also have the energy here. Uh, the potential energy of this, if we took the uh, uh, center of mass of all of this fluid, it would be located about right here in that center of mass relative, let's say, you can choose any reference point, say relative to this reference point, it's going to have a certain amount of potential energy. And uh, that's simply equal to mgh. Um, but mass in our fluid system is an m, it's equal to the density times the volume, or rho v. Density times volume is mass, so we have mgh still. And then we have kinetic energy, this fluid's flowing at a certain speed. Again, mv squared over 2 is our kinetic energy, but uh, our mass is equal to the density times the volume here. And so 
Likewise, we have a newer uh, potential, we have a new potential energy here and a new kinetic energy up here. So we have to take that into account because the height has changed here and a velocity would have potentially changed in this other part of the pipe. So this would be our final energy at this location in their system. And so really Bernoulli just applied kinetic energy to a fluid system, but what we can see here is that the volume is common throughout. And so we can cancel the volume. And when we do, we get Bernoulli's equation here. So <clears throat> notice that Bernoulli's equation isn't conservation of energy, but it was derived from conservation of energy. And that's kind of cool. What it really kind of is like is an idea in a fluid system of, of maybe something that uh, we could call conservation of pressure. So this pressure is caused by the work uh, the piston's doing. This pressure is caused by gravity at a certain depth. And this pressure is caused by the speed of the fluid. And that one's kind of hard to visualize maybe. Uh, with this one, we got used to this one from our previous work, uh, gauge pressure. But this one uh, might make some sense. Let's say I had a, a trash can lid and I was holding a trash can lid and somebody on the other side of the trash can lid has a powerful hose and is shooting that hose at the trash can lid and I'm feeling the uh, um, pressure that the trash can lid um, pelts, you know, pushes against uh, my hands when the um, hose water is pelting it. Maybe that's how you can visualize pressure due to the speed of a fluid. So again, uh, Bernoulli's equation is kind of like conservation of pressure within a um, fluid system. Sometimes Bernoulli's equation is represented as P times rho GH times rho V squared over 2 is a constant. They don't put this over here, they put, they put the word constant. Um, but I like to lay it all out here like we did with previous energy. The before better be equal to the after. And there you go, you hung in there pretty well. This is a very useful equation and uh, hopefully you can see how it's related to conservation of energy and it'll become uh, more meaningful as you continue to work with it. Crazy what Bernoulli came up with here. So, hopefully you saw how Bernoulli's equation is like conservation of energy and scratch his parting idea here. And remember that life is all about continuous improvement.